this. Oh, all right. It's nice. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Yes, go. You ready to go? Gotta walk ahead of us. GPS out now. Oh, boy. Hard old scope. But we made it. Hopefully the fish are biting. I know the flies are in the air. Well, there's a stabilizer. You saw me making another video. If you haven't had a chance to check that one out, I'll leave a link in the uh, in the uh, video description below. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Here we go guys, first cast, of course the weather called for 0% chance of rain, and as soon as we got here it's now beginning to rain, typical day fishing, just saw a fish breach, not far from where I am here, just trolling along, I find if you can catch one just as he breaches and then cast a hook right towards it, oh, look at that, there was one came after it as quick as that. Oh, got me too. Oh, lost him. Oh, that's a good sign. Only wants a couple fish. Enough to go back to the cabin and cook up for supper, you know? That'd be a real treat today. All right, so I'm gonna cast out again and see what happens here. Oh, I just saw one breach again. A day like today, you know, I probably should have brought the fly rod. It is what it is. You take all the gear you want some days, and some days you get fish, and some days you don't. All right, we got a fish on here. Here he is. Oh, all right. Okay, stay still. Fish in the boat. Not bad little fish. Oh, are you kidding me right now? All right, put another worm on. Try again. Come on, bite that delicious worm. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. Oh, nice trout. Nice trout. Beauty trout. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh, this one's nice. Look at that, boys. Look. And I can see four or five more breaching right around me right now. So it seems like they caught on. Hopefully he's not a all right, guys, we'll give you a head mount view this time. 
so you can see a little different angle. There we go. One just look, one breaching right there. Look right in front of the kayak. So, oh, you saw, holy cow, we went right there. Oh, that was a nice little splash too. Let's see if I can entice him again there. I'm feeling you got my worm gone. All right, let's fix this back up. Putting lots of worm on her today. All right. That little breeze of wind might dry, it has driven the flies away. So that might make them easier to catch too, you know. If the flies disappear, then they're kind of going to be forced to have to feed on the worm. Try back that way. I'm going to move back up the pond a bit, I think. Hang on, Willow. Good dog. She is a good dog, you know. Out in this little kayak here. and. She's been out in it a few times now, so she kind of understands a little bit what's going on, but she was finding it hard a few minutes ago with the flies. But now that the sun has come out and the wind has picked up a little bit, the flies are gone, just like that, so more comfortable for her and for me. Well, guys, just caught a glimpse of a bear. I didn't know what it was first. Uh, I saw something move in the woods, I thought it was a moose, but it was actually a bear, I got a glimpse of him. And uh, I just got the camera on here, maybe he'll make an appearance again. Just up in that little clearing up here. I keep fishing in the meantime, but I'll keep the camera up that way. Just in case he does make an appearance. I got nothing on the shore, left on the shore anyway, so no worries there. My quad is a couple kilometers away, so he won't go that far, I don't think. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh. Got him, boy. No, lost him. Oh, got him. Oh, right there. Wicked. Just like that, boys. Look, I got another bite. As soon as the hook touched the water. Lost him. Nibbles at the worm and lost him again. Maybe my hook is not sharp enough. It's not a draft of wind. Normally I gotta throw it my uh my little anchor, you know? Today. No problem. Let's try over this way. Oh boy, it's another one. This one feels like a nice, nice trout. Holy smokes. Oh yeah. He's actually pulling the kayak around a little bit. If I can only get him in. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Now, if I can get one more, that'll be four. That's enough for a good feed for me and Melanie. She's back at the cabin waiting for me, so. Yep, one more. Two each. I get the two biggest ones though. Because I'm certainly loving those uh, stabilizers. They are game changers there. And it's the reason why she can come with me today. In my dag. Yeah. Uh, a couple of mergansers there flying over. That's a good sign. I guess there's fish here somewhere. <laughs> what a beautiful day. How could you ask for any better than this? Oh! <laughs> Just got better. Right there. Here we go, boy. Beauty. Beauty fish. Beauty. Willow, sit. Sit. Oh. Alright, boys, fish on. Making a very good wake. That's a good sign or not, but oh yeah, nice little fish. Get them in the boat. 
another nice trout guys look four nice trout and only here about 45 minutes i suppose and got enough for a nice meal that's enough leave the other ones for another day all right guys we've had our fun today that was wonderful that's what we came for beautiful weather a few flies but i didn't even put any fly dope on willows enjoyed it We'll take off now and make our way back to the cabin and fry those up for supper. And that's going to be a treat. I just cast it out right by the shore here. I got another one. Which I'm going to let go. It must have followed us in. There you go. Automatic release. Moose jerky. Good. Oh boy. Nice sight to see. Warm, are ya? <laughs> or 32 degrees Celsius. Wow. Two more benefits of having an outdoor kitchen at your cabin. One, you don't have to cook inside, which heats up your cabin considerably. And two, this outdoor kitchen is almost always in the shade. So on a day like today, it's actually a sense of relief just to get in the shade for a while. It gets cold here in the north, but in the summertime, the opposite is true sometimes. When it gets hot, it gets really hot. It's a touch early for supper yet, so I think I'll uh, get everything ready. And do a couple of chores. And then start the fire. Rhubarb is doing well, like always. Gotta get rid of the old seed stock still. I can see a rhubarb pie coming up. Pretty soon in that outdoor oven. Anybody want to donate any ice cream? This way the probe is uh, kind of where I want it. This is where I cook generally, right where the this probe would end. I might just plied it this way a little bit to get away from the brick a bit. So I found I had one of these uh, oven thermometers, but uh, it read perfectly for a while, but the smoke from the oven just got inside the glass, uh, rendering it unreadable. And I have one of these uh, infrared readers, which is good for getting the temperature of the brick uh, but no good if you just want to read it like in mid-air. So this uh, probe here, I think, will just be kind of a uh, meet in the middle kind of thing. So we'll see how it works. Hey, weirdo. those fish guys oh did they ever look nice and orange almost a reddish color really and usually the redder they are the more delicious they are i just put a bit of salt on mine a bit of onion powder lemon pepper is a must lemon any lemon flavor on fish of course always tastes good so lemon and pepper together is even better top that off with a bit of garlic a bit of flour to coat it i think we're ready for a feed 
As an added bonus today, we're going to fry these up in some bear grease. And bear grease turns crystal clear almost immediately. Such a clean, clean oil. And it's actually full of uh, vitamins and nutrients, so it's actually good for you. Starting to smell good. Well guys, I'm just getting ready to pick up the, the fries there now for our fish and chips supper. It's gonna be a good one. I wish you guys could smell it. Not a great day in the woods. Great day trouting, good day with the dog. Now a nice meal to take cap off the day with Melanie. All makes for a wonderful day. And until next time guys, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. You'll be glad you did. See you next time, guys.